Hello and welcome to this episode of the Apigee Accelerator series. In this video, I will be showing how to use Apigee to extract different variables from the response body in XML and JSON and how to modify the response headers using the out-of-the-box policies. Let's start with how we built this proxy in Apigee. As you can see in this diagram, we have our API consumers on the left hand side and a target backend on the right. We are using a mock target API for this example. Apigee sits in between the two. Apigee has 60 plus out of the box policies to do things like appliance security, traffic management, etc. You can then apply these policies to the request or response. For this sample, I will be focusing on the response flow. The mock target API contains an XML payload. We use the extract variables policy as a first step to extract subsets of data from the XML response body. Later on, we leverage the XML to JSON policy to convert the XML response from the target server to JSON. We use again the extract variables policy to extract subsets of data from the now converted JSON stream. Finally, we use the assign message policy to set the response headers with the extracted fields. You will find this accelerator in our public GitHub repository that is linked in the description below. In order to deploy this sample, you will need an Apigee X instance provisioned with external access. As a user, you will need access to deploy proxies in Apigee. These can be granted through the Apigee Org admin role or the API and developer admin roles. You will also need the command line tools listed here. If you're using Google Cloud Shell, these are all already included. We have also included a Cloud Shell tutorial, which will guide you throughout the entire process. Once you click the link, it will take you directly to your Cloud Shell console, clone the repository, and open the step-by-step -step tutorial to help you get started. The first step is to make sure that you're logged in with the right user. Then, change the directory to the current extract variable sample. Use the built-in editor to open the environment sh file and set the different environment variables for your GCP project, Apigee external hostname, as well as the Apigee environment where you would like the sample to be deployed. Close the editor and save the file. Then source the environment file to set the environment variables in Cloud Shell. Now hit start. Next, let's create and deploy the Apigee resources necessary to test the extract variables proxy. This script creates a sample API proxy. The script also tests that the deployment and configuration has been successful. Now let's go to the GCP console to see that everything was deployed correctly. As you can see, the extract variables proxy has been deployed. Let's use the debug tool in Apigee to see the incoming requests. As you can see, we get a 200 OK status code and we can see every policy being executed as a request comes in. If we click on the response flow, the first thing we will find is the XML payload from our backend. Then we use the extract variables policy to extract the different fields like city and state and store them in variables. In the following step, we use the XML to JSON policy to transform the XML into JSON. After that, we use the extract variables policy again to extract the first name and last name and store them in variables, but this time around from a JSON payload. This is just to show how the policy works for both XML and JSON. Finally, we use the assign message policy to set the response headers with the variables we created before. The final response sent to the client is a JSON object. If we go back to the tutorial and click through, we will find a cleanup script that will remove the proxy from our Apigee instance. We hope that you found this sample useful, and if you liked the video, please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to our channel for more Apigee videos. If you have questions, please post them in the Apigee community.